Hi, Haggies. Today I wanted to share with you the latest episode of That May Be the Chancellor. This was recorded in February, before we knew much about social distancing or were as worried about COVID-19. I had a great time dropping by the Shields Library then, and I thought releasing this now might help you feel more connected to all the great people and places that make UC Davis a unique community. I hope this gives you something to smile about and helps you cope while we all continue to shelter in place. Stay safe, Aggies. Welcome to Shields Library. Thank you. When dealing with call numbers, we do it alphabetical, then numerical. So you're going to look for the CT and then the All numbers right. and just fit them in the middle. All right. We're still using the Dewey Decimal System, I assume. Library of Congress. Oh, Library of Congress. Yes. So that's a little different. I don't know yes. Which way am I going? That way. Sixty six. Here we go. Thirty two oh two. Right Hi, how are you? What are you studying? Uh, anthropology and Middle East South Asia studies. Right now I'm on the thermodynamics Thermos. section. Um, I have a viniculture midterm Vinicult tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Wow. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. How are you? Hi, Chancellor May. How are you? Good, good to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. I'm Melinda. You having I'm fun Melinda. here? I am. I'm learning a lot. Oh, very I'm nice. Remembering my Dewey Decimal System oh, okay. and Library of Congress. Very good. Systems. Very yeah. good. Well, we're so glad you're here. Good to be here. Especially me. Yeah. Because you're going to be helping me with class Your today. class. Yeah. Yes. Looking forward to it. Yes. All right. So let's go and check it out. All right. I'll follow you. All right. Get the books here. Yes. Libraries have really changed over the past decade or so, right? It used to be all about the books, but now it's much more, right? It's, it's much more. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things behind the scenes that most people will never ever know. The technology that's needed, how to address metadata, how to make sure when you log on to the library's website that you can get those resources that you're looking for, and we're still evolving. Mm -hmm. Melinda, tell me about your job here at UC Davis. What do you do? So I am one of the physical sciences engineering librarians, and I do a plethora of things. But one of the things that I do that I really enjoy is teaching. What is one of the things you want to do in the future? Well, one of the things I would like to do is reaching more and more students, making this class more scalable, okay. and doing more things via Canvas and doing more things online. We have, what, 39,600 students on this campus? That's how many we have. If we want to ensure that they are getting the research information and the tools they need, we have to scale up what we're doing. Yeah, you're right. So are you ready to delve into today's class? Yeah, let's see what's going on with the class. Hi guys, come on in. Good to see you all. Welcome class. We have our guest speaker today is Chancellor May. We're going to do a very quick Kahoot. Chancellor May is going to actually run that Kahoot. So if you would guys, go ahead, grab your phones. How you guys doing? So you guys got to sign in. Is that everybody? All right, let's play Kahoot. First question, what's the crap worksheet used for? It was really nice to just spend a little bit of time with the chancellor. Oh, everybody got that Everybody right. got it right. right. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> to see that he's just a laid back kind of person. Cassandra's oh, holding on to the lead over Madison. I had a great time. We got one more question to go. Who's Madison? I'm Madison. Oh. <laughs> I always enjoy getting out on campus, meeting students, working with staff members. Who's Cassandra? So you really want to beat the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> he actually facilitated a formative assessment activity called Kahoot. I love Kahoot and it's fun. Students get to use their phone and I think they enjoyed it. I got a chance to work with a class that's uh, learning about the use of AI in research. AI is artificial intelligence. And I also learned the fact that the students are using the library so readily. It's almost like it's the intellectual center of mass of the campus. 
Melinda was the teacher of the class that I was able to assist in today. She was great. She enjoys working with the students, so I enjoyed getting a chance to know her.